Hi, this is Amber Halverson from Worldwide Migration Partners, and in this video, I'm going to be speaking to you about skilled visas in Australia. There are three skilled visas available, these being the Independent Skilled, subclass 189, the State Sponsored, subclass 190, and the Regional Sponsored, subclass 491 visa. A lot of clients ask us whether they can apply independently for an Australian visa. The answer is yes. You can apply under the Independent Skilled Subclass 189 visa. This application involves nominating yourself under one of the occupations on the medium to long term strategic skilled list. It's a three stage process where you undertake a skill assessment in your occupation, you submit an expression of interest, and once you're invited to apply for the visa, you submit a visa application. This visa is points based. In order to receive an invitation through your expression of interest application, you're required to claim as many points as possible um, in order to get the highest score available. You can claim points on the basis of your age, your English language ability, your qualification, your partner's English language ability, and your employment experience. There's many different types of ways that you can claim points, and as migration agents, we can assess you and advise how many points you're most likely able to claim. The legislative minimum is 65 points. However, in the current climate, you're most likely going to need at least 80 to 90 points in order to obtain an invitation. The Department of Home Affairs have a body called Skill Select. In essence, you can log into Skill Select on the Department of Home Affairs website. From there, you complete a form and indicate which points you feel you can most likely claim in order to receive an invitation. It's very important to get this part correct. If you're unable to claim those points when it comes to submitting your visa application, it would most likely result in the refusal of your visa. So please do reach out to us if you feel you want to apply for a subclass 189 visa because we can provide a correct assessment and complete the expression of interest on your behalf. Prior to submitting an expression of interest application, you're required to first obtain a positive skill assessment. We often get asked how difficult skill assessment applications are. And in short, they can be quite difficult if you're not familiar with the skill assessing body. They often require a substantial amount of documentation um, and they can become quite complex. If you are thinking about submitting a skill assessment application, please do reach out to us and we can give advice. Worldwide Migration Partners provides assistance with many different types of skill assessment applications. This involves assisting nurses, engineers, hairdressers, tradesmen and people in a myriad of occupations. The state sponsored some class 190 and the regional skilled sponsored, the subclass 491, are similar to the subclass 189, except they involve an additional step. They require positive skill assessments, they require you to submit an expression of interest, but they also require you to be sponsored by an Australian state. So different Australian states sponsor different occupations. They each have their own individual occupation list, which will need to be checked before you submit an application. Whereas the subclass 190 will result in permanent residency for you, the subclass 491 will result in a five year temporary visa. You may transition to permanent residency after three years once you have lived and worked in a regional part of Australia. If you're interested in applying for a subclass 189, 190 or 491, please do reach out to Worldwide Migration Partners and we can undertake a consultation and advise you of your eligibility. 